going to show you now how to manage uh, chest injuries where the injury has gone through the chest wall and into the lining of the pleura around the lung. Now for injuries like this you might see that the patient has got difficulty in breathing, you'll see blood around the site potentially or an injury. Um, the patient may be breathing very rapidly or very shallowly or you may see asymmetrical breathing on both sides. If you look at the wound you may see as well that there are some either bubbles coming from the wound or you hear a sucking noise. This type of injury can deteriorate very rapidly as the chest, as the lung on that side, it will be deflating and causing a tension pneumothorax around that site, which can cause a, a cardiovascular collapse quite rapidly. So we're going to demonstrate how to manage this type of injury now. Yeah, okay, so um, what I have here is a chest seal. So these are um, devices made uh, exactly for the indications as have been described. Um, and what this allows is, um, is a sealing of the chest wound, but it allows pos air under positive pressure within the chest cavity. So a, a pneum tensioning pneumothorax it allows that air to leave the chest, uh, but it doesn't allow further air to be drawn in. So as you can see, that's a really sticky adhesive dressing uh, that is now, these four sides are now occluding uh, all air from going further into the chest. Um, so when the patient breathes in, the negative intrathoracic pressure pulls this inner bit of fabric close to it and stops air ingre um, uh, ingressing. But when there's, uh, the patient breathes out, if there's positive uh, air under positive pressure within the chest, that's still able to escape by its clever design. The air will then leak out from the chest through the um, inner bits of fabric. What we'll show you is if you don't have these bespoke dressings, it's how you can fashion something uh, quite similar that will perform the same function.